China is under intense diplomatic pressure to pull its support from an isolated Russia. But three weeks after the invasion of Ukraine, Beijing has shown few signs of abandoning its friends in the Kremlin. And today, U.S. President Joe Biden will speak with his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping and warn him against throwing weight behind Russia. The call comes in the fourth week of Putin's invasion of Ukraine. It will be the two leaders' first phone call since a video summit in November last year. The White House said it will serve as a chance to air differences. Trade rows and snarled international supply chains will also be discussed. But a big focus is expected to be the Western bid to force Russia out of Ukraine. Beijing has refused to condemn close ally Russia over the invasion of Ukraine. It has rather blamed the United States and NATO's eastward expansion for worsening tensions. The United States is spearheading the unprecedented pressure campaign on Russia, as stated by the White House. In today's call, Joe Biden will warn Xi Jinping that he will face costs if Beijing rescues ally Russia from intense Western sanctions. Um, this is an opportunity for President Biden to assess uh, where President Xi stands. Uh, there's been, of course, rhetorical support or the absence of clear rhetoric and, and denunciation or the absence of denunciation by China of what Russia is doing. Uh, this flies in the face, of course, of everything China stands for, including uh, the basic principles of the UN Charter, including the basic principles of respect for sovereignty of nations. And so the fact that China has not denounced what Russia is doing in and in, in of itself speaks volumes. Biden has assembled a tight Western alliance against Russia while also giving military support to Ukrainian forces. But Beijing has refused to condemn Moscow. As recently as last week, Beijing called the partnership between the two countries rock solid. There are also reports that Russia has reached out to China for aid as it faces sanctions. The reports have been denied by the Kremlin, but Washington fears the Chinese could switch to full financial and even military support for Russia. The White House remained tight-lipped on whether Biden will threaten China with sanctions during his call. But some sort of response is on the table. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken confirmed Washington will make it clear to China it will bear responsibility for any actions it takes to support Russia's aggression. We believe China in particular has a responsibility to use its influence with President Putin and to defend the international rules and principles that it professes to support. Instead, it appears that China is moving in the opposite direction by refusing to condemn this aggression while seeking to portray itself as a neutral arbiter. And we're concerned that they're considering directly assisting Russia with military equipment to use in Ukraine. President Biden will be speaking to President Xi tomorrow and will make clear that China will bear responsibility for any actions it takes to support Russia's aggression, and we will not hesitate to impose costs. China is the number two economy and the world's biggest exporter. Despite the coziness with Moscow, it also wants to play a leadership role in the world. Under growing pressure to take a side, it remains to be seen how China will balance its conflicting priorities. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.